So I'm home. My trip got cut short by almost a week because um, I ended up having to go home, uh, family emergency. My husband wound up in the hospital for about three days. And um, so here I am. It's been raining and windy and storms and trees crashing around me. Um, yeah, I'm not kidding. So what I'm doing is a total clean out of the car. And the reason I take a tent with me is I am going to put everything that was in the car in the tent. And that's going to be step one because I plan on sleeping in the car. But for now, I got Tay all settled. He's happy. He loves being in the sun, but I've got to organize everything because I had to throw it all in the car in whatever bag it could fit in <laughs> without being able to organize it. I hate the phrase elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is that I took the bed out that I built. I'm only five foot five and that's five feet across. I sleep crossways anyway. Um, so I'm going to use that as my bed because I've also got my dog in his kennel. And yeah, it's a mess up there because I got blankets and sleeping stuff. Even the passenger front seat looks like somebody went crazy. <laughs> well, must have been me. So I have things that need to be dried. <laughs> sleeping bags, I've got water, um, some tarps that are still wet that I have to lay out to dry in the sun. And Sunday, it's supposed to be thunderstorms again, so hopefully I get this all packed up and clean. Because of earbag concerns and everybody yelling at me about earbags and curtain rods, there, I decided to re-engineer my curtain. So same curtain, but what I did is, this is a, a stick-up tights thing, it's a belt. And I cut it up because it's got like a rubberized material in the back. Uh, and the reason I'm showing you this is because when the doors are shut, one door, you can't see that it's on there. And it also doesn't get wet. While I'm waiting for my coffee, I'm going to show you a couple of things. Um, first of all, I have roof racks that I put on my car. I got a video on that, but um, <laughs> anyway, I've got roof racks, so I can use that. Uh, if you don't have roof racks, these are um, sticky, and you can put it on the roof or on a window um, of your car and just tighten it down. And those look like that so that gives you something to clip onto then there are these which are tarp clips and um, these have been really great I've been using them a lot it's kind of windy out on and off so um, <clears throat> pardon the volumes but anyway you put this on your tarp on the corners instead of ripping the grommets out because the grommets never hold. And uh, so anyway, that goes on your tarp. And then you can use something like this, which is a little tiny bungee with a hook. So you would then just, this is attached to your car. You put this, that actually can go through so you've got this on your tarp. This can go on your one of these. Or you can just use this and put the grommet of the tarp through that. So what marvelous thing am I doing? Well, I killed my, um, I keep calling it an easy up. To be fair, it is not an easy up, but it is a canopy. And I killed it in the last windstorm. Uh, we were having 40 mile an hour winds. I should have known better, but I said, well, if I put it up now and just anchor it well, everything will be fine. 
well, it, it never got to that point. So, here's another option. I'm about 90% sure that I'm going to buy a awning that will attach to the roof rack. And that way it's a retractable and I can just pull it out, put the, the extension poles uh, on it, and it'll be a bit more portable and easier. But for now, this is what I'm using. So, see this? of these which are legs this has a little um, a rubber top on it so it's supposed to go through a grommet is that is that and there it is just a few more things. Um, they don't work. They don't do anything. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> don't bother. Uh, I also would recommend not so much these. I have them. But they end up looking like one penny nails after a while. <laughs> so, um, because they're plastic and they break. I did invest kind of a little bit of money. These are iron. They're solid. <laughs> and I haven't been able to break them yet. Uh, I camp a lot in Kentucky where it's all clay. Very, very difficult. I've actually put this one of these through asphalt. But, um, yeah, don't bother. <laughs> this is useless. Uh, keep a little gearbox like this. I've got a ton of these... Uh, <laughs> Want to build a shed? <laughs> Tarp clips. I have a lot of them because, well, when I used to have an easy up, uh, <laughs> I used to tie my Christmas light things to it. And these have been so useful for so many things. So, yeah, it's just to show you a few things that I do take with me on the road. Way too many things. Uh, extra bungee cords and these you can get pretty much anywhere they're called night eyes uh, <laughs> I don't know what the real strength of them is but uh, believe it I have tested them they're awesome they're rubberized they hold in dog crates I tie things down with them I tie things up with them <laughs> so uh, yeah just to give you an idea of some you know extra little things that you may want to Think about dragging with you and hopefully some of this makes things a little bit easier and a couple of canvas bags to keep your stuff in this gets put away until I take down the tent which I'm going to be doing one day early because we're gonna have thunderstorms when you're camping a lot of places say they've got 30 amp service, which this is not. This is a waterproof box. You unsnap it. This is the adapter that you need for 30 amp service. So this will now plug into your regular. And this will then go into that power pillar. I've run into it a couple of times, not often, but that's what you need. But this way, if you put the two cords together, I mean, you get it, <laughs> then you shut it. And it can sit outside. I think I've shown you this before on a video, but there's a little space heater and what I do is I run an extension cord from the power pillar and I put a foamy thing on the glass. 
this way the wire isn't pinched. It can still move. There's very little space. And the rest of it is a pool noodle. Actually, it's a plumbing noodle with a split in it. But it goes right up underneath this vent. A couple of things I did want to mention, and I will be sharing other things like the portable shower that I have um, in a future video. Things that I did want to cover were why I ended up sleeping in my pack rat nest uh, with the cooler on the back seat and uh, a lot of things a lot different than I normally would do. I couldn't really hang a bear box from a tree because where I was staying said specifically no tying things to trees. You can't nail, hammer, or hang lanterns or any other camping paraphernalia from the trees or bushes. So um, I had to put the cooler inside and it is recommended that if you are camping in a known bear area, and I was, uh, <laughs> that you put your cooler inside of your vehicle and also cover it with something like a blanket because bears do know what coolers look like. If there's anything that you've seen in my video that you would be interested in knowing where I got it or what it is, I would be happy to answer you in the comments section. And uh, <laughs> I'm hoping to get back on the road again soon. Until then, 